Welcome to the red carpet of the world premiere of The Lone Ranger starring Johnny Depp. We are at Disney Adventure Theme Park and it is a beautiful day in sunny California. Stay tuned for celebrities, movie stars and tons of fans on the red carpet. I'm doing well, it's a nice day. Yeah, so far, even at five o'clock, it's hot though, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's pretty hot. I hope the sun sets soon and it gets all... That's okay, we're, we're halfway down the longest red carpet in the world, so it will be okay. How do you like having the premiere here instead of at the El Capitan? Oh, I think it's great for the fans, you know, they get to, they get to see a lot, uh, a lot more actors and there's a lot more... I mean, it's all about the fans for this type of deal and it's, it, the more they get to see, the better. Uh, I'm currently working uh, on Boardwalk Empire, and they just filmed uh, uh, one of those last week. So that that's that's in the middle of its fourth season. We're filming, and it should come out in the fall. How is it to be at Disney California Adventure Park of all places for a premiere? This is the craziest place I've ever been for a premiere. Like, honestly, Disneyland is one of my favorite places. I come here way too much to be 17 years old. Mm -hmm. I love it. So my sister is actually works for Radio Disney, and so she gets like free tickets, so we get to come <laughs> in. So I'm here way too much. So this is like home right now. I'm, I'm, I'm relaxed right now to be here. I love it. So do you have any current projects that you want to give us a little sneak peek about, or do you got to keep it all under wraps? Uh, no, actually, I'm going to be on a new Nickelodeon show called The Thundermans. It's coming out this fall, and it's about um, a family with superheroes, and I play Phoebe Thunderman's best friend, Cherry. And so it's like really fun. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Do you have any advice for any aspiring actresses and actors that are, that are working really hard and auditioning? Do you have any like little bits of inspiration for them? Just confidence. Just know that you're good and it'll take you so far. Just, yeah, believe in yourself. As cheesy as that sounds, seriously, like, just know that you are, you can achieve whatever you want. Do you have any tips to any aspiring actors? Because I know that you're a pretty big role model and a lot of people look up to you. So do you have anything you want to say? Uh, wear white when you go to Disney California Adventure premieres. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, I've been, I've been, I did stand up since I was 13. And so I've just, just work at it. You know, don't, don't ever give up and don't let, I've had people tell me I'm never gonna amount to anything. Thanks grandma. <laughs> but I, uh, but I, uh, I, I worked hard and, I am here now, so I think it's, I'm not going to be the last. I'm definitely not the first. So. so you were saying that you're working on a new um, a new project right now. Sorry to cut you off about that last topic. That's great, actually, really great. Yeah. Um, the fans will love to hear about that. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah. But um, what are you working on right now that you want to give us a little tidbit about? Oh, I'm actually working on uh, a new show called Live and Maddie, where uh, it's uh, yeah, that's what you're talking about. But I don't have anything else in the works. I uh, no, it's 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 going to be great. It premieres. Uh, sneak peek on July 13th, 19th, but hopefully you'll watch it and go, that kid with the glasses is incredible. Did you guys actually film it in Wisconsin? No, no, we filmed on a set here in Hollywood. Yeah. So we have to wear like jackets like we're in Wisconsin, but we're in the heat of Hollywood. So what kind of character work did you have to do for that role? Oh, I had to do no character work. The character is, is written because the writers know me so well, and so it's like, it's like I'm saying something I've said in the past, so it's pretty simple. So how do you feel about the premiere tonight? Are you excited? I am. I'm very excited. Um, excited to see uh, what the film has, and uh, I didn't get to see it, so I'm just waiting. I'm like, okay, let's see how it turns out. So, <laughs> so are you a big fan of Johnny Depp? Oh, of course. Who isn't? <laughs> are you working on any projects right now that you want to tell us about? Yes, I am. Um, I have a few films coming out. There's a film coming out next year called Of Light and Darkness, starring uh, Michael Welch from Twilight Saga. Um, I play a, a vampire in that movie. And then, um, of course, this and another movie um, in pre-production called Significance. And um, it has uh, Jeremy Sutner from it, from the Peter Pan. So um, we're just, we're just a lot of things coming up. So and a few Sundance films and... Congratulations, that's amazing. Yeah, that's really, really great. 
Do you have any uh, tips to any aspiring actors so that look up to you? Yeah. Um, my tips is uh, don't ever give up on your dream or uh, if you're going to have people tell you you can't do it. But you, it sounds cliche to say, but uh, you have to perspire and keep going and, you know, don't give up. That's just my, my I, I never give up. So, you know, and here I am walking the red carpet, Johnny Depp, you know, from I was from uh, Arizona and on, I lived on the reservation. So I'm half Native American and, you know, out there, just nothing. And I never thought I'd be here, but I, I just never gave up. And, you know, and through God, all things are possible. How do you feel about the premiere tonight? I'm very excited. I've never seen any of the TV show or read any of the books of Lone Ranger, so it'll be very cool to finally get to experience this. So how do you prepare for a role that is not too easy to do? I normally, I will read the script over a bunch and I'll, I'll get very focused and try and get into it and then I'll kind of go have fun. I'll hang out and then it, when it comes down to the interview or the audition, then I'll go back to that same place I was at. But I feel that I do one of those Mr. Miyagi rules. If you work too hard, then you'll break yourself. And I've experienced that before, and it's not fun. So how do you feel about the premiere tonight? I'm stoked about it. Did you, did you walk this carpet at all? It's so huge. Yeah. Bro, I walked a mile. Sweat broken right here. How, how do you like it at California Adventure Park? Beautiful, it's beautiful. I think. It, I think the fact that the premiere is here is just kind of a testament for you know Disney and what they're shooting for as a company. I, I'm I'm really honored to be a part of it, really. Yeah. Thank you. Is there are there any projects right now that you want to give our viewers a little tidbit about? Yeah. Well, I'm working on my music a lot. Um, I've been in the studio really every night for the last six months or so, and uh, my single is actually releasing the week the Team Beach airs. So uh, watch out for that. And um, yeah, that's been my life, really. So. Do you use a, lot, use a lot of the social media outlets yes. to like... Yes, I do. I have a Twitter, I have an Instagram, Jor both Jordan underscore Fisher. I have a Vine as well, um, if you do that. <laughs> Jordan underscore Fisher, it's all right there. I'm so excited to see what's in store. I mean, I think we all know the story of the Lone Ranger from where they are little yeah. kids, and now I'm yeah. wondering, Johnny Depp in a movie? <laughs> Fantastic anyway, but to see what Hollywood does to the Lone Ranger, I'm interested. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. Yeah. So. How do you feel about being at Disneyland for this premiere instead of like in Hollywood? I love being at Disneyland because you know we we called it Uncle Mickey. We worked for Uncle Mickey for the last ten years. <laughs> Mickey was in charge of ABC, so it was so fun to always be around yeah. Disney. So whether it was in Florida or LA, we'd always sneak down here. So the fact that they're doing it here, I feel right like I'm in my own backyard. Well, I've never I've never been here before, so it's my first time. I know. That's the look I get off, and it's like disappointment, dismay. There's something wrong with me. Uh, but yeah, total shame. But I'm, I, you know, I'm excited to be here. It's it's a, it really is a magical place. I think it, it might have help because there's 20,000 people here for this premiere. But it's a it's a really cool experience. My only advice is to just try and listen less to what they want and try and figure out who you are and. You know, I think you, you enjoy life more that way at least. And, um, you know, most of the jobs I've gotten, I've gotten because I stopped caring about exactly trying to figure out what people wanted from me and just started trying to be who I was. And, and thankfully, I still have a job because of it. So. Yeah, and you still will with that kind of attitude, right? So, do you have like a process of something that's like kind of weird or that you want to share? Or? Do I have a process? No, I don't really have a. I mean, I went, I went to acting school and all that stuff, and I, at the end, I just try and, uh, try and be confident going into, you know, to, to meet with people, because that's really all people want. They want to know that, like, oh, this is not an insane person. This is somebody that I can rely on. Yeah. I'm great. I'm super excited to be out here. I'm so, actually so excited because I've never been to Disneyland before. So, I know, crazy, right? I've never been to Disney and this is my first time, so I'm really going to hope to get on those rides after the movie. The park is not close till midnight. What are you going to do afterwards, after the oh, screen? I'm going to eat all that candy and I'm going to do all the rides. I'm going to do it like I should have done it if I was here when I was 12 years old. <laughs> so, 
So how do you how do you like being here instead of in Hollywood for the screening? It's pretty awesome, isn't it? Yeah, it's awesome. The traffic wasn't awesome getting out here, but <laughs> but it's, I think it's a great change to come out here. Disney really knows how to throw a premiere. I mean, this is just amazing. I think the most important thing to do as a, an artist is to really just do your work. Like, if you want to be a filmmaker, go and make a film and don't wait for somebody to give you permission because nobody will give you permission. You have to give yourself permission and yeah. just follow your heart and, and go where it takes you because, God, that sounds so cheesy. No, but it doesn't at all, actually. No, it really doesn't. <laughs> it's, it's really true, though. You will go where you need to go. Just follow that tingling exactly. sensation. Right. Yes. Yeah. Do you have, like, like a like a mentor or like a place where you just like it's like your home like you know like home is where the heart is like that your heart is here that kind of keeps you strong out here in LA like yeah LA can be a tough city yeah. um, I've had several mentors but at this point in my life um, I think just having a few key players around you like really close friends really supportive family members you know maybe it's a significant other just have those people and keep them close and know how valuable they are because they are the ones who will be there for you when when stuff happens. Are there any projects that you want to give our viewers a little sneak peek, a little tidbit about? I would love to. I'm working on two things right now that I'm very excited about. I have a Shakespeare company called the City Shakespeare Company. And uh, we are working on a film version of Macbeth. And we're also just getting ready to shoot a film version of Othello, which I play Iago. And I can't wait. So where is this? Is it a theater house or like where is it? Uh, we don't have a. Sp we're we're based in Santa Monica, uh -huh. and our whole vision is about performing Shakespeare in unusual places. So right now we're performing uh, in Rustic Canyon Park. We're doing As You Like It, and previously we've performed in art galleries and um, all over the city. Sure, well, it's a, you know it's an iconic uh, character, an iconic piece of material. And uh, even though it's been a long time, I think that uh, since, since it's been a version that's really stuck in, in the public awareness, um, it, you know, it, it, it's iconic for a reason. You know, a good guy in a, on a white horse with a black mask, it really works. Uh, but this was a chance to do something they didn't do in that show, which was to reinvent it and, and do a revisionist version, chiefly by having uh, Johnny Depp play Tonto, who was the sidekick in the original. So congratulations on the premiere screening. How does it feel to be at Disneyland? I'm sure it's exciting. It's very exciting. It doesn't really get any bigger yeah. than this. Yeah. Do you think there's any aspiring writers who look up to you that would love to hear some inspiration from you? Um, yeah, I would say you know the best advice is stay in the chair. You know, just keep going. Uh, and uh, you know the the uh, the anxiety and all the rest of it does, it doesn't go away. How does anxiety go away? It doesn't. It never goes away, not even when you like let it out and it's on paper. Like but then it's beyond your control, but you you know there's always a, a, an element of mystery and doubt, and especially in this type of writing because uh, it's such a collaborative process, uh, you know, and in the best cases like this one, you have amazing collaborators from the, the cast and the crew, and then you watch these scenes come together even better than you could possibly have imagined. Are there a lot of rewrites like during production where you're like pulled in and you have to work with that? Like how does that work? certainly happens. I was on set every day, but it, 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 the script held. There wasn't a lot of uh, uh, massive restructuring, but there was you know, moments when you see a way to make it better, or, or uh, you, as you, the real privilege of being on set while they're making the movies, you get to watch the characters evolve and, and, and can adjust accordingly. Tell me about your outfit. You look amazing. Oh, thank you. Um, Yes, it's a Alexander, what is it, tea by Alexander um, dress, and I've got some Yves Saint Laurent shoes, and just, you know, simple. So, how do you feel about the premiere tonight? Are you excited? Or? I'm so excited. Um, I've been a Disney fan since a young girl, and, uh, you know, just love their movies and shows that they put together, and, and I'm especially excited for this one because, of course, Johnny Depp is in it, and I don't not like a movie he's not in, so, yeah, um, yeah it's, it's awesome. I just, I can't wait to get in and watch it and then, you know, tweet my little review of it. <laughs> so you have social media handles. What, do you, you want to give our viewers, like, a little bit of a little bit of that so they can look you up and see what's going on in your life? Sure, um, yeah, well it could get exciting, you know, the road to the Olympics now starts, so um, my Twitter handles for 
Uh, and my Twitter handle is Tora Bright and Instagram Tora Bright, so I'm pretty easy to find. How does it feel to be the premiere of the, your film? Congratulations, by the way. It's, you know, it's just very exciting. We've been working on this for five, six years, trying to get it together, and you know, it's, it's hard to get a Western made, and we got one made, and a really, really good one. Yeah. Very excited by the quality of the film. Do you have any like inspirational like words that you want to share with like there's so many like people that are that look up to you and that are our viewers actually so is there anything that you want to give us about that? Well I'll tell you I'm from Wichita Falls, Texas which is a little town in Texas and I'm here making this movie now so you know anything's possible. If that's possible anything's possible. What projects are you working on right now? Um, well Teen Wolf is uh, on a hiatus so we're taking a break from Teen Wolf right now. And then I uh, just worked on an episode of The X's, which is on TV Land. Yes. The third season just premiered June 19th. And, um, or was it July 19th? But the episode came out. That no, no, no. It's, 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 it's one of like, it's like the second to last episode. And um, it was so much fun. It was a sitcom. I'd never worked on a sitcom before. It was in front of a live studio audience. And I worked with some of my heroes, like Donald Faison and Wayne Knight and Kristen Johnson. I grew up huge fans of them and still am. And it was just, it was, they just treated me so well and welcomed me and they were, everyone was so damn nice and I just cannot wait to see the episode and it was it was one of the best experiences I've ever had, definitely. That's awesome, getting to work with somebody that you see as like a mentor, that's like everything like to an actor, to an artist, right? Seriously, I, I admire every single one of those people so much and I don't know if they know how much I actually am like a fan of them. I never really told them, you know, I didn't, I didn't want it to get awkward on set. But, uh, well, they're going to know right now. If they're, if they're watching this, then yes. I love your, your, your wardrobe here. It's beautiful. Do you want to tell me a little bit about it? Well, thank you. Uh, I have the bone, uh, the warrior bone breastplate. And uh, Tiffany, why don't you describe your uh, necklace and your turquoise? Just the sterling silver, Navajo pearls, uh, Swarovski crystal. My name is Tex uh, Red Tip Darrow Holland. I'm from North Dakota, and it's a great honor to be here uh, representing our tribal people at this uh, premiere of uh, Tonto and the Lone Ranger. And so we're really uh, looking forward to seeing these uh, two actors, and of course, uh, the Indian finally getting to be the, the main attraction in the movie. So we're just uh, happy to be here to see that. How do you feel about the film premiere? Oh, I'm so excited. California Adventure, great movie, a lot of fun, a lot of action. Thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. How did you prepare today for the premiere? Did you do anything um, special? Yeah, I got one of these little funny ties, yeah. um, and uh, that was the main thing that I did. And I made sure to wear a clean shirt today, <laughs> and uh, you know, because Johnny Depp is here. That's so right. I, <laughs> but he and I have one thing that we share. Uh, he's JD and I'm JD. So sometimes on the set, you know, they would say like, oh, and JD's going to be coming. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm right here. Oh, you mean the, uh, the other guy. So, so it's pretty great, though. You hear him? <laughs> well, congratulations on the premiere. And, Thank you. And what are you working on now that you could tell our Well, I, okay, I'm going to be on uh, Dog with a Blog, the, uh, the Disney oh, show. Wow. So I've got a nice little part on that. And, uh, and then other than that, I do plays that nobody sees, but I really enjoy doing them. Oh, you really want to know about that? Well, there's a, f a famous uh, playwright, long dead, by the name of Anton Chekhov, and he wrote a little play called Uncle Vanya, and I'm going to be playing the role of Uncle Vanya in that play. It's in South Pasadena. Um, it's called the South Pasadena Theatre Workshop, and uh, we're doing a world premiere of a new translation by uh, Libby Apple, A-P-P-E-L, and it's going to be really exciting. You know, it's... it's uh, we're exploring the play, taking a long time to rehearse, which is the way they used to do it. I mean, taking like months and ex doing a lot of improv and all that. So, and it's a great role for, you know, it's an extraordinary role, one of the great roles. Inspirational words, just don't give up, you know, just, and, and, and keep showing up and don't get down on yourself, you know. Everybody has bad days, everybody has bad auditions, but you, the whole, you gotta just keep moving on. Let it go, let it go, always move forward. And I would suggest that you keep doing plays. 
Uh, that is if you like doing theater. Uh, or keep making movies. Put yourself on YouTube. Do stuff you love. Yeah. That's so awesome. And what about to our fans? Or to your fans? <laughs> to my fans? Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Those are my fans. <laughs>